G'day, my name's Garth Wixon. I'm the Solutions Development Manager for St. Jenna here in Southern New South Wales. Just want to spend a couple of minutes today talking about our new broadleaf herbicide, Talanor. Talanor is a combination of bicyclopyrone and bromoxanol, uh, so it's essentially a combination of a Group H and a Group C product for the control of a, a broad range of broadleaf weeds uh, when used in uh, both wheat and barley. Talanor provides a number of benefits to Australian growers. Now, first of all, it, it provides the opportunity to use uh, the new active bicyclopyrone. So we'll be one of the first countries in the world to utilise bicyclopyrone. In addition to that, uh, the combination provides a, a unique benefit or the opportunity to utilise the synergistic effect of combining those two modes of action. So we actually get an increased level of weed control uh, as a function of the combination of the two products uh, in the formulation of Talanol uh, than you do if you were to use the two actives individually. In addition, Talanol will control a broad spectrum of broadleaf weeds. We're looking at around 38 uh, weeds for control and another two for suppression. And that spectrum uh, you know, goes right from uh, a range of brassicaceae weeds, so you know, wild radish, mustard, uh, Indian hedge mustard, etc. Uh, includes cape weed, fumitory, um, spiny emix, and also a, a broad range of uh, volunteer pulses. So a really robust, broad spectrum product. But the interesting thing about Talanor is that it has the ability to control some of those harder to kill broadleaf weeds, which some of the other products tend to struggle on. So you can actually use it uh, for the control of something like sp spiny emix and be confident it's going to pick up uh, any cape weed or radish that's uh, in the same situation. So uh, a really robust, unique tool. Uh, because of the fact it's a combination of a Group H and a Group C uh, product or modes of action, it offers a, a rotational tool uh, to manage resistance when it comes to broadleaf weeds. So uh, where group Bs, Is, uh, Fs have been used uh, significantly in the past, it provides a great tool to maximise your weed control, but also move away from those modes of action and, and provide them with a break. So southern New South Wales, I think uh, you know, there are a couple of key weeds which it'll have a strong fit on. First of all, probably in the eastern cropping belt, something like fumitory uh, can be a bit of a challenge to control with a range of products. Talanol, what we've seen is across uh, five species of fumitory that uh, if applied at the right stage at a, at a reasonable rate, you can achieve upwards of 90% control. So it offers a really useful tool for the control of fumitory um, across a range of uh, situations. If we head a little bit further west, uh, it, it will have a strong fit in the control of spiny emix. Again, our, our trials to date have shown an excellent level of control and when used uh, at the right time, again the right rate, uh, the performance is equal to or better than a lot of the current standards. So a really robust option for spiny emix control. And if we drop across the border uh, into Victoria where bifora can be a real challenge, Again, we've seen uh, Talanol deliver some really robust efficacy. So again, outperforming a number of the competitor products in the market. So in summary, in, the, in this general part of the world, you know, fumitory, spiny emix, uh, by four are probably three of the key weeds which will drive the use of Talanol initially. Coupled with the fact that you'll pick up you know, a broad spectrum of uh, broadleaf weeds over and above those harder to control weeds. If you want some further information, uh, jump on the Syngenta website. And thanks very much for your time.